What is a ball if not to be talked over? What are young men if not to be discussed? <sighs> you began the evening well, Charlotte. You are Mr. Bingley's first choice. <laughs> but he seemed to like his second better, Jane. <laughs> Mr. Bingley was overheard to say that the eldest Miss Bennet was the prettiest woman in the room. <laughs> Mr. Darcy was not so well worth overhearing, was he? Poor Lizzie, to be only just tolerable. Mr. Darcy is so disagreeable, Lydia, that to be liked by him would be a misfortune. They say he sat next to Mrs. Long for half an hour and never said a single word. I dare say he found out she came in a chaise, not a carriage. <laughs> Oh, Miss Bingley did tell me that Mr. Darcy never does speak much, unless among his intimate acquaintances. Oh, Jane. Jane! There is perhaps an excuse for his pride. One cannot help but wonder that so very fine a young man, with family, fortune, everything in his favour, should think highly of himself. If I may so express it, he has a right to be proud. That is perhaps true. I could more easily forgive his pride had he not mortified mine. Pride is a very common failing, I believe. By all that I have ever read, I am convinced that it is very common indeed. That human nature is particularly prone to it. And that there are very few of us who do not cherish a feeling of self-complacency on the score of some quality or other, real or imagined. <laughs>